Hey everybody, it's me, LaRasha, Goddess Queen, Just Me, 23, and this is going to be another Zodiac sign reading, and Capricorns, you are up. So this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as Venus and Mercury, or if you are a Capricorn cusp, this is for you too, or if you're a cross watcher and you're dealing with somebody that has strong Capricorn in their chart, maybe there's some messages in this video for you too. Or if you were just guided to this video and you don't have Capricorn in your chart and you're not dealing with anybody that has Capricorn in this, your chart, um, in their chart, maybe there are some messages in this video for you too. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with everybody. If it does resonate, please like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment as well as share. If it does not resonate, please try your moon sign as well as your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign in your birth chart. And in order to get your rising sign, which is your ascendant sign, you have to have your name, your date of birth, the time you were born, as well as your location. If you don't have all that information, you'll still be able to get your sun sign, your moon sign, and I say pay attention to your Venus as well as your Mercury when it, you're dealing with love readings. I am now including cusp babies in my readings. Myself, I am a cusp sign. I'm a Taurus slash Gemini, so I am a cusp. As well as if you are a cusp baby, Capricorn cusp babies, um, or any uh, other person that is a cusp baby that is important to you because your sun sign represents who you're trying to be before you pass over in this lifetime. So if you were born in the between the two signs, then you are both. So you're trying to harness both uh, signs before you pass over in this lifetime, okay? Um, the sun sign is not just the only thing that is important, but again, for Capricorn, uh, for Capricorn cusp babies or wh whoever is a cusp baby, that just means that you have a little bit more work than everybody else does, okay? Um, when it comes to you manifesting whatever it's in your, your um, manifesting and becoming who you are um, as far as when it comes to your birth chart, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Just want to say thank you to everybody that has been supporting me as well as welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are new to my channel, I always have an intro in all my videos as well as I always have messages for the collective if you are pressed on time or you don't want to hear the messages, you can always go down to the comment section of the video. I have a timestamp in the comment section where you can go directly to the reading if you don't want to hear the messages or if you're pressed on time. Moving forward, if you use your free will to state that I talk too much when you can be a, the mature person, um, be a bigger person and just go directly to the beginning of the reading, you will get blocked and you will not be able to come back on my channel, okay? Um, also, if you tell me to remove my music, you would also get blocked because I am clear audience. I have a different gift than other readers. And then I'm also here to help other people realize the ones that know that they're clear audience how to use their gift. So you can get removed for that as well, okay? Now um, it's time for us to be mature. 2000, 2019 is about evolution. It's about you involving as a person, you know, moving forward in your personal growth, you know, DNA activations, raising your frequencies, whatever it is that you're doing as far as when it comes to your journey, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's be mature adults. adults. Um, Capricorns, I'm not just pushing on you. I'm saying this for all my readings. If you have been watching all my readings, you see that I have been saying that. And I'm just basically laying boundaries on my channel and not accepting the lower negative energy um, that what that people are trying to bring, okay? Um, so again, music in the background, the cards that I use in my videos are also listed in the description box of my videos. You can go there. Um, it's also, I have my own Amazon store if you're interested in purchasing any of these decks as well as energy healing, um, like stones, crystals, uh, rocks, incense, different things that you can use as far as when it comes to your journey and helping you on your path and in your enlightenment, okay? Um, also, if you're interested in your birth chart, it's also listed in the description, uh, this description box of my video as well. And then also, um, cards have already been shuffled. The main deck, we will shuffle them on camera. All the other decks, we will cut them on camera. I also, since 2019, is about evolution. So a lot of people are realizing that the journeys that they're on, the spiritual awakenings that they're on, they're trying to heal past life relationships, past life trauma, um, past life karma, as well as be um, familiarized with certain past lives that they were not aware of that they possibly have. So I have my past life deck for that to help everybody during this journey as well. 
I have my past life deck and then I have my fortune teller deck that I use as far as when it comes to past life readings. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So again, this is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as uh, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus, and Mercury, as well as Capricorn Cusp, and then Cross Watchers that's dealing with somebody that has strong Capricorn in their chart as well. Okay, so I'm gonna shuffle it. I'm gonna shuffle it um, three more times. After this time, whatever is at the bottom of that Capricorns, I will take it as part of your energy. Okay, so we have the temperance being reversed. And temperance, when this is reversed, this could let me know some of you Capricorns could be dealing with somebody that has Sagittarius in, in their chart. Or you possibly could have Sagittarius in your chart. Or this person could be harnessing um, the energy of a Sagittarius, okay? But when this is reversed, this is pretty much letting me know that somebody that's lacking that spiritual fulfillment within themselves. When the temperance card is reversed, this is about lack of teamwork as well. So some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that typically, you know, lack of teamwork when it comes to a relationship. This could be lack of teamwork within yourself, a relationship, or even a job, okay? There is, this is also when the temperance card is reversed, this is about comp competition, which brings, you know, conflict of interest, okay? So I feel that a lot of y'all have a conflict of interest. It could be a conflict of interest with a Sagittarius Capricorn, um, or again, like I said, conflict of interest with as as far as it when it comes to being out and out of sync within your emotions i feel that somebody is unbalanced i feel a lot of somebody is somebody's dealing with somebody unbalanced or capricorn this could be you that you're very unbalanced right now i feel that somebody possibly could also be over compromising in a certain situation but again some of y'all are possibly dealing with bad management in a job as well We have the Two of Pentacles reversed, and this is crazy. This came out in my uh, Libra reading that I just did, and it came out in the same position. So if you are a Capricorn and you're dealing with somebody that has Libra in their chart, um, or Libra, if, you are, if you're a Libra and you're dealing with a Capricorn, make sure that you watch that video as well, okay? Um, Two of Pentacles being reversed. We have the King of Pentacles being upright. We have the Magician card being reversed, and then we have the Eight of Swords being reversed. And then we have the five of pentacles being reversed. So somebody feeling like they haven't been abandoned. I feel that some of you Capricorns are cross watchers are possibly coming out of feeling abandoned. Okay. Um, but again, if you are lacking spiritual fulfillment within yourself, there could be some abandonment issues that you possibly need to let go of Capricorn, which is stopping you from your growth. Okay. Is what I'm hearing. But when the five of pentacles is reversed, this is about successing things getting better. So let's say if in the past, because you did have again, the temperance card reversed so let's say capricorn if this was you or if this was a sagittarius that you were dealing with from your past or possibly it even could be an air sign again libra gemini uh or aquarius um and then we have the king of pentacles which could represent you capricorn um or virgo as well as taurus okay so those are the only face cards that we have right now does not necessarily mean that these people if you're watching this and they don't have this in their chart 
um they could just begin that this person is harnessing this energy because we did just get rid of uh Taurus season and Taurus season that's that earth energy and again Capricorns you are Tauruses some of y'all could be working again on your own self okay is what I'm hearing some of y'all could be working on your own self as far as things that's from your past that you're holding on to which is causing you to harness this energy as well okay but again if you are dealing with abandonment issues I feel that things are getting better I feel that let's say if you have been budging budging Budgeting your money Capricorns or if you have been juggling things as far as when it comes to your finances a job or even juggling things that's in your environment your foundation and yourself I feel that you have been doing the things properly I feel that it's been success as far as when it comes to budgeting again I feel a lot of y'all are feeling like the king of pinnacles even if you're a man or if even if you're a woman um, the king of pinnacles is somebody that's pretty much that's loyal they're confident um, about what it is that they're wanting to do um, this is somebody that's pretty much just very stable when it comes to their emotions they're very reliable they're hard working they're the good father the good mother okay so i feel that somebody is being responsible after not being responsible before so a lot of y'all could be more responsible again taking care of your foundation or taking care of the things that you need to do as far as within yourself which is causing you to turn into the king of pentacles which is causing you to turn into the queen of pentacles is what i'm hearing okay so let's say if this person, um, it, let's say again, some of you Capricorns possibly could be in a situation where you are juggling two different people or you're juggling, let's say if it's not two different people, it could be some of y'all could be juggling a job or just juggling your family life as well. I feel again that some of y'all possibly could be also dealing with, let's say if you are dealing with somebody that that is two-timing you or you know that it's you and somebody else, this person could be somebody that's very, you know, um, that could be lying. They could be very ego-driven when it comes to this relationship i feel that there's still something that's hidden as far as when it comes to truth as far as when it comes again if this person has somebody else or somebody with you i feel that this person could have invested in another relationship and they could have been secrets as far as when that was hidden so some of y'all could have been found out that somebody was married is what i'm hearing and this person um released themselves because they you found out this person was married wow okay um the magician card when this is also reversed this is somebody that's lacking again that power that willpower within themselves so again let's say if capricorns y'all were having a problem with investing your money or just balancing or managing time i feel that some of y'all are having some of y'all were dealing with somebody that had a problem with managing time or managing money they were not investing or they were not doing the proper things with their money um there could have been somebody that was lying about their the the income that they have or whatever about their financial stability is what i'm hearing as well okay So some of y'all possibly could be dealing with somebody that is an air sign that was just there for that your money is what I'm hearing too. Somebody lost some money to an air sign or an air sign stole from you. Somebody's supposed to lose some money to an air sign. And I feel like this air sign played you out of money. Okay, um, again, somebody lying, somebody very ego-driven, somebody that has basically hidden motives. I feel that this caused a lot of confusion in your life, Capricorn. Our Cap cross watchers, this Capricorn caused a lot of confusion in your life. Um, when we have the Eight of Swords being reversed, this is about, again, releasing yourself from something that no longer serves you. So again, some of y'all could have been in a relationship where this person was just draining you financially and it's no longer serving you and you're breaking free from the situation after this person possibly even stole money from you or took money from you as well as what i'm hearing capricorns or cross watchers okay when the eight of swords is also reversed again prison breaks so again there could be somebody that's getting released from prison if this is somebody that's coming back from your past we have the four of wands being upright we have the ten of wands being reversed 
And then we have the seven of swords being reversed. So this is somebody that's pretty one and remove themselves from whatever manipulation that they cause. So again, we have the four wands. This person is singing victory. So again, I feel that somebody is finally choosing somebody over somebody else. So let's say if they were juggling, they're no longer wanting to juggle. If they're removing themselves from a relationship, if they were just bonded there for money or codependency of that other person, I feel that that person is removing themselves from that as well. Um... I feel again that this person sees victory in the relationship when it comes between you and them. So this is that happy home. This is that marriage. This is somebody that's wanting to finally settle down. Um, this is, you know, you being in good health as well as just being in that good harmony. Okay. So this person could have came into, uh, this could have been revealed or this person could have started taking action or getting clarity on this in this past full moon phase which was on may the 18th which was the moon of scorpio full moon of scorpio which that moon was about you know secrets things that have been hidden being revealed so again i feel that there was some secrets that there could have been exposed or this person could have told or you could have got um illumination on some type of things that were hidden to you from you capricorn or cross watchers okay um we have the Ten of Wands, and when the Ten of Wands is reversed, again, overcompromising. So let's say, Capricorns, if you were overcompromising with your time or even with your money is what I'm hearing. I feel that somebody was overcompromising with their money or, you know, you were possibly the one that was putting more into the relationship than the other person was. Um, again, I feel that some of you Capricorns were dealing with somebody that pretty much was just there for the finances because they know that you were bringing them stability again is what i'm hearing um when the ten of wands is also reversed this is about over overbearing so again i feel let's say if you were dealing with somebody that was manipulating you to stay into something financially are they manipulating manipulating you just to take your money i feel that again that could have been very overbearing for you capricorns or cross watchers and again it caused you to re made you release yourself from this person is what i'm hearing because you have a seven of swords being reversed as well so again that's about you know you were grain into trust you gaining your trust regaining trust trusting um regaining trust okay i'm hearing somebody needs to regain trust okay they're saying let's say okay wow i'm just gonna just say it so let's say capricorns or cross watchers if you are dealing with somebody and you dealt with this in the past and this person possibly could have stole time or could have you know drain their some co there was some type of codependency that was involved and it could have been money that was involved or you could have been putting more time into this relationship or it was something that you were giving where you were over more over compromising this person could have stole from you even if they stole their time from you um that could have made you feel like that way as well but again it could i feel that somebody was dealing with somebody where they stole some money from you and this person is coming back um, I feel that if this person is coming back, it's like where you're going to have to regain, this person has to regain your trust again, especially if somebody stole from you financially. Um, but I feel that somebody is going to let somebody back, um, that's in that situation. Okay. Okay. I was trying to see if there was anything else that was coming out. And somebody, somebody is not going to let somebody come back after they find out somebody was stealing from them, is what I'm hearing too. So I feel that there's some of you Capricorns that's going to let this person go back, or some of you are not going to let this person go back because after you find out that they stole from you and they were manipulating you for money, okay? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. There's a lot of money on this. If this person did steal from you, Capricorn, I feel somebody's going to put in effort to repay you back is what I'm hearing. And that's how you know that this person is serious because you're going to get a victory out of it. And again, I feel that some of y'all possibly, again, somebody stole from something from you and you're realizing that this person stole from you and you're going to be very unforgiving. And this could be not even a relationship. This could be family and friends as well. Or it could also be a job because when you have the Ten of Pentacles coming out, that also represents your foundation, which also could be jobs as well. Okay. 
again yeah the world this person is bringing you the world again let's say if they were juggling or if they were manipulating the situation they stole from you again i feel that somebody's getting some type of repayment back okay somebody's supposed to get repayment back of something that they took and it could be time that this person is now going to be putting in effort and putting in the time and that they were not putting in before and again i feel that somebody's coming in and bringing a solid offer to somebody okay after them deceiving you so there was deception that was involved and it could have been like i said a third party situation or this person stole some money from somebody stole some money from you okay or if they didn't steal money from you capricorns they whoever they chose over you or cross watchers whoever they chose over you that person stole money from them okay engagement so yeah this person is coming in and i guess the way that this person is coming in so let's say if they did cause a lot of hurt in the relationship and you did remove yourself from this you released yourself from this i feel that this person is going to be coming in with a love proposal so some of y'all could be getting a ring and this is how you know that this person is serious because somebody is wanting to be loyal let's say if they were not being a loyal and they were causing and bringing a lot of burdens in the relationship again i feel that this person is now wanting to be reliable they're wanting to honor their commitment now they're wanting to put put in full effort in this relationship when we have the world card coming out this is about a brand new beginning this is about having success this is also about a karmic completion so again there could be somebody that's ending a relationship especially again like to say if they were juggling somebody else you and somebody else i feel that they could be ending a relationship and that's the same thing that i said in the libra reading too somebody could be leaving something and going to somebody else because they realize that this person is their empress or their emperor and that's what's what the libra leading reading was about okay them and this person had a lot of past lives together is what i was hearing that, that came out in that Libra reading, okay? So again, if this is somebody that's coming back, this person is bringing you the world. So it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. If there's not a ring, it just could be that you and this person are becoming, you know, very official as far as when it comes to the relationship. Y'all recognize each other as boyfriend and girlfriend moving forward is what I hear as well. We have free yourself. So some of y'all are going to be freeing yourself from somebody that was manipulating you as far as when it comes to money. Um, I feel that some of y'all were dealing with somebody that was a scam artist. And they were scamming you for money. So I feel that somebody's freeing themselves from there. I feel that there could be some of y'all that are waiting for somebody to get released from jail. Or you're going to hear about somebody getting released from jail. And again, that's the reason why I free yourself. And then also the Eight of Swords also represents freedom, release from jail as well. So it says it's time to take back your control of your life. So again, some of y'all could have removed yourself from this per this person. Once you removed yourself from this person, when you realized that you were over compromising, now this person is coming in and they're wanting to put in, um, be loyal to the relationship and the connection and act, uh, and fix their wrongs is what I'm hearing. We had, wow, wow, what did I tell you? This shit came out in the Libra reading too. So past life relationship. So it says you have known each other before. So again, somebody's realizing that they have known this person multiple past lives and now this person is coming in and giving a relationship again now they're that this you are their world now they're wanting to invest in this relationship again um friends and family i feel that there's going to be a lot of wealth that this this is going to be coming out of this again settling down marriage this is so you see it here so somebody is going to be getting a marriage proposal okay y'all Everything is okay. So it says, don't worry. It's all working out in your in a beautiful way. So some of y'all could have possibly thought that this person was not going to be returning or this person was not going to be coming, coming back. Some of y'all could have thought that you were not deserving or, you know, even worth giving love. So they're saying, knowing that everything is going to work out in your highest favor, as long as you do the things that you need to do as far as healing yourself mentally, physically, as well as emotionally, as I'm always doing things on the higher good everything is going to always work out in your favor okay it says wow this card came out in the lever reading in the same position okay so frill 
even if you're not a Libra and you're not dealing with anybody in a, as a Libra and this is resonating with you, go watch that Libra reading, okay? So it says do some research. So you says you need some, you need more information about this situation. Look into it further before proceeding. So some of y'all could be doing research, like I was saying in the Libra reading, you could be doing research on past life relationships or past life regressions. Some of y'all could be doing research on this other person. So let's say if this person has been separated from you for a while, uh, Capricorns or cross watchers, this person could be asking their friends and family members, your friends and family members, whoever, however y'all are connected and seeing how, you know, if you are single. So again, especially if somebody is coming with a marriage proposal, they want to make sure that you are single and you're not connected to anybody else. So somebody could be doing research. They could be spying and just checking out to see exactly what it is that you're doing. Wow, this came out again right here. It says, ask for what it is that you want. Let the let the universe and other people know uh, what you need. And I shuffled these cards numerous times, y'all. I shuffle each deck at least six times before I do anything. And then, of course, we just cut the cards. So there's no way possible that I could have just made these cards show up in this reading. So it says, ask the universe, ask your higher self, ask your higher, uh, your guides for what it is that you want. Pray, meditate, doing your affirmations, um, you know, speaking what it, speaking, you have to speak. You have to let the universe know what it is that you want. Again, let's say if you, this, you, let's say Capricorn, if this was you and you were not telling this person what you want from them. Uh, again, I feel that this person is getting ready to express to somebody how much they really mean to them, that they really, you really mean the world to them and they want to bring you the world is what I'm hearing. So I get, I feel that this person is going to be expressing that to you, Capricorn or Capricorns, you could be expressing this to somebody else. Okay. We have cow spirit. So it says the miracles are endless. So again, I feel that there's going to be somebody that's going to have a lot of money in a certain situation as far as abundance. Again, there could be some of y'all that are taking on careers as far as building foundations within yourself is what I'm for yourself is what I'm hearing as well. We have a 15 here, which is about that's a six, which is about past, which is about harmony. We have wombat spirit, so it says be at home. So again, this person sees you as home. They see you as the world. They see you as the person that they can build a solid foundation, a solid found, uh, life with. You have the four of wands. You have the king of pentacles. You have the world card. You have the ten of pentacles coming out, okay? So that's somebody that's wanting to build, and this is going to be something that's long-term, okay? So building a solid foundation. We have an eight, a 68 which is a 14, which is a five. So again, fives are about conflicts, which brings change. We have butterfly spirit. So it says transformation is beautiful. So this person possibly had to go through a transformation or you Capricorns possibly had to go through a transformation, some type of spiritual journey. It could have been, again, healing past life relationships from your past past life traumas, whatever it is that you had to go through caused you to go through a beautiful transformation, which caused you to have a major growth about yourself. So again, shedding, letting go of the old you and allowing a new thing to emerge. So we have a 11 here, which this could be a twin flame journey for you Capricorns, or you could be seeing a lot of number ones, which is one, 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 which is about new beginnings again. We have third eye chakra. So somebody's third eye is waking, opening up. If you are trying to get your third eye and working on your third eye, wear purple, eat purple fruits, eat purple vegetables, um, wear purple socks if you don't like the color purple. Um, lavender baths, spiritual baths, sea salt baths. Meditation would also help you as well, okay? So we have a six here. So y'all could be seeing a lot of sixes. 666 six, six means, you know, harmony and past. Again, you have past life relationships. So again, I feel that this is a past life relationship for somebody. We have dreams coming true. So again, miracles are un, um, endless. The universe is bringing you everything that you want and they're letting you know that it's okay. This journey that you're on is okay because again, it's going to bring you a lot of abundance. You have a nine here, which is about moving on. This is about happiness. This is about growth. We have a waiting result. So you could have been waiting for this person in, to go through this major transformation or major phase to happen in your life. Again, some of y'all are getting, going through a major completion because you have the world card, which means a completion over something that, you know, now your cycles are moving forward is what I'm hearing. So some of y'all are going to be wait, awaiting your results. Um, again, I feel, let's say if you are um, getting ready to take on your own business venture, Capricorns or, or cross watchers, 
I feel that you planting your seeds now, again, you're going to be able to wait for the results. And again, that's going to bring you to something that's going to be more financially stable for you, okay? We have a seven. So a seven is about mysteries. That's DNA activations, you know, getting messages in the spiritual realm, seeing synchronicity, seeing signs, um, things like that, okay, as far as sevens, okay? We have return to nature. So connecting with nature, going out and connecting with Gaia, touching the trees, paying attention to the animals, the things that you can see, the insects, um, the sun, the moon, the star, so, you know, meditating outside, going outside, walking outside barefooted, sitting outside by the ocean, you know, the river, the lake, putting your feet in water and things like that, reconnecting with nature, okay? We have half faith, so half faith that everything is working out in your favor, knowing that the universe has your back, that you are, you know, your dreams are coming true, okay? Your dreams are coming true and just waiting for it, waiting for it. You've been waiting for this Capricorn or cross watchers. You've been waiting for this Capricorn to get their shit right is what I'm hearing. Somebody's been waiting for somebody to get their shit right and they're finally getting their shit right is what I'm hearing. So you've been having faith and keeping your faith that this person would turn around. And I feel that this person is turning around. So it says stand your ground. So standing up for what it is that you believe in. Standing up for yourself. Not allowing anybody to overstep your boundaries. Capricorns are cross watchers. So I feel that you're finally doing that. And you're finally again loving yourself. And when you love yourself, other people have to basically match your frequency. And when they match your frequency, that means that they're meant to be in your life. And again, your true loyal friends are the people, your true loyal friends, are your true family members will stand out from the rest, okay, is what I'm hearing. So again, the ones that are not meant to be in your life will fall off. So continue to stand your grounds, continue to, to, to side arm the people that you know that's no longer serving you or that's coming into your life to try to stop your journey, okay? Knighthood, so some of y'all could have been knights or lived in, you know, in the, the castle days, queens, um, kings, some of y'all, your knight shining armor is coming because you did have, again, the, um, you had the king of pinnacles, no page, no, no knight, a king of pinnacles, king of pinnacles upright means somebody that made a commitment and they're, they're going for it. Okay. So your knight of your knight, your knight in shining armor is coming. Our Capricorns, you're getting ready to be somebody's knight in shining armor. Okay. Um, Wars and battles. So again, if you were a knight or if you fought in battles, y'all could have been also, again, um, somebody that had past lives as far as fighting in wars. You could have also been samurai. Again, back in those days, as far as when it comes to that, some of y'all, they're telling you to watch some war movies or watch some night movies. And that would also help you wake up to certain past lives that you possibly could have had as well. And you and this person, let's say if you and this person is coming back when you freed yourself, you possibly had a, I feel that somebody had a love-hate relationship. This, damn, this card came out in the Libra reading too. And it came out in the same position. So again, um, in the Libra reading, the message was that um, if you were wanting to write a book, um, if you have been thinking Capricorns about writing a book or cross watchers, you've been thinking about writing a book, do that because that's going to bring a lot of abundance into your life is going to bring a new, a new, a beginning into your life. And it's going to bring a lot of new opportunities to you. Some of you could have been writers or y'all were, you know, painters in your past life. You could have also wrote on certain squirrels and, um, in the past life as well. Okay. House. So again, you had home come out, right? So be home. So again, this person sees you at home. Again, building your solid foundation, starting with, you know, laying your bricks, one, your bricks one at a time. Again, building, rebuilding your foundation, okay? Rebuilding your foundation. I feel that some of y'all could be thinking about, how, you know, buying a house together or this person could be thinking about moving in with you, okay? So we have a two here, which is about union, which is about balance. We have toil, toil and labor, so let me see what that card uh, means. Uh, that's the first time I have ever seen that card. <laughs> you have a 38, so another 11, so another one, another ones. So 38. Is this the right book? Yeah. No, it's not, is it?
Hmm. Well, y'all, I don't have that book. Where's the book at? Oh, I got it. No, I don't have it. Well, I don't know what that card means, y'all. I don't know where the book is. That's not the Kipper book. what that card is so we're gonna pull another card so i apologize once i find the book i'll put it in the comments so we have children here so 18 which is about okay so child so we have a nine here so again some of y'all could be thinking about having children with this person in the libra reading you did have the empress card coming out and there was also some talk about you know the children's mother or the children's father some of y'all could be freeing yourself from a ch your your child's mother or your child's father or it could also be somebody some childhood trauma that y'all are trying to remove yourself from as well is what i'm hearing from this somebody could be coming to you in child like energy as well as far as them being um playful as well as what i'm hearing okay last card and it says a message for you it says i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you okay so this person is thinking about you you're thinking about them that's a message in the Libra reading. It did say a message of concern. So, wow, I love how this reading connected with the Libra reading. Again, if you're not even a Libra, go watch that reading. Or if you're not dealing with a Libra, go watch that reading. And again, that th once I find the book, I'll put the meaning of what that card is in the timestamp, okay? So the cards that we have here is the Magician card, which is Gemini, Aquarius, as well as Libra. We have the King of Pentacles, which is Capricorn, you, uh, Taurus, as well as Virgo. We have the World card, which also represents Earth, again, with this you. And then we had, um, and that is it. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. If it does resonate with you, like my channel. Oh, and then we have Sagittarius as far as the Temperance card. If this reading does not resonate with you, like my channel. If Excuse me. If the reading does resonate with you, like my channel, subscribe to my channel, comment as well as share. If it does not resonate, try your moon sign and your rising sign and your Venus and your Mercury. And I just want to say thank you for watching and you have a great day.